Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel on Sunday the 11th of August 2024 now, Currently in 27 degrees air temperature, I'm sweating, this is the weather I love So, as the sun is out right now, blue sky sunshine, weather I love What have I got planned for tonight, for you guys and for me? Well, last minute decision, because the lowest temperature tonight is going to be around 21 degrees at midnight that's far too warm to be sleeping in my flat in my bed so what does that lead me to do well i'm planning on going camping don't know where yet i can't say where i'm going to be until i've done it for my own safety but i'm planning on the two spots i'm planning on going go to the same spot i went to last time when i went on my own a few months ago back in may that was okay night, it went smoothly, no issue or anything I haven't had there. Or I might go try this new spot somewhere else. That is a good spot. Got a good view, 360 degree view with a night sky for astrophotography for stargazing tonight. Because it meant to be a peat of the meat oil showers tonight and tomorrow. It's Sunday the 11th of August and Monday the 12th of August meant to be a peat of the power side meteor showers or whatever they call we're going to be peaking tonight and tomorrow so why not go and camp on the east of stars and watch the, the meteor showers and all that and they are also a possible sighting of the northern lights as well not 100 percent certain not going to get my hopes up but there is apparently a forecast for aurora over the next week or two because the sun spot from the sun had burst exploded the sun whatever it's called i can't pronounce it properly but burst out solar storm out yeah solar storm out into space and it take two to three days for it to hit earth so finger crossed we get to see another northern lights again because that's my dream to see them and my dream came true on the 10th and 11th of may when we saw the northern lights down here in bogner so they're saying it could be as high as that again that activity so finger cross not getting my hopes up but who knows but yeah i also plan on going for evening swim as well because it's hot to cool off so i might even go for an evening swim at the sunset who knows or go for a swim in the morning at sunrise that'd be my morning shower so yeah as you know i am going somewhere but it's on the beach so i can wake up with that lovely sea view but I'm not saying where I'm going until after. But I am going by the beach so I can get that CV and listen to the sound of the ocean that night. Not a, the best way to be, just be out in nature, sleeping on the stars, on the beach, listening to the sound of the waves crashing onto the beach. That's my therapy for me. Because I need a break from this place. Um, a lot been going on here um, and I just need a break to be honest. But yeah, the weather right now is 27 degrees at moment, feel like 27 and this is the weather I love. So that way the sun is right now at five o'clock in the evening. Just gone five o'clock in the evening it is. And it's hot. Roasting for that way the sun is right now. Sunset tonight is at 8.30 p.m. And it's 27 degrees according to my weather station what is there. So yes, yeah, perfect weather for stargazing tonight. Right guys, sorry about the mess on the floor, I just my tissue where I was cleaning my phone. So this is my 75 litre WhatsApp, got my phone tripod so I can take pictures of the stars tonight. Got my new tent, four season tent in there, new tent. Got two big bottles of water in there to keep myself hydrated. Got my sleeping mat here that I sleep on, got my air pillow in there, my sleeping bag. Um. All I'm sleeping in tonight is my boxer shorts because it's going to be too warm. It is, so I'll be sleep. I've got my sleeping bag just in case it does get a bit chilly, but it probably won't. I'll be sleeping on top of it because it's going to be too warm. I've got two bottles of water in there. I might need to pack another bottle of water. Who knows? Just to get hydrated, I'm going to pack a few beers in there and uh, get some snack from the shop and then head off to wherever I'm going. I ain't saying where until later. But yeah, that's my plan. It's absolutely lovely, this weather. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's hot. This weather I love. Also, I clean my bed today. As I said, I'm really, really good with my hygiene. I'll clean my bed. 
every three to four days when I'm when it's hot like this kind of sweat so I clean my bed every three to four days I tidy up my flat once a week as well not once a week but every couple of days you know what I mean so all good it's a bit windy apparently it meant to be gusting around 27 to 30 mile per hour winds tonight from the southeast so it would just take that edge off the temperature so it shouldn't be too bad but who knows got a plane just up there Right there. We did just had a Spitfire just flew past as well. But yeah. No chemtrails today. They're not spraying shit. So what is good? I'm not doing that today. They're not blocking out the sun. So I'm happy with that. And yeah, it's sadly three months to go until my birthday holiday. Cannot wait. Sadly three months to go. So yeah, not long to go now. So I cannot wait, just need to keep myself busy and make time fly quicker. But yes, they only but three weeks left of August. Then we got whole of September left for camping and then from October I don't think I'll be camping. I might, I might not. I'll see how I feel because they they hit a full season tent, so it's meant for minus ten. My sleeping bag on my tent, so who knows? Would you guys like to see some content on me camping in the winter? let me know please leave down below in the description down below because um yeah that's my plan i don't normally do that but if you want to you only live once so why not it's a four season 10 and the four season sleeping bag so why not please leave down below in the comment if you want to see me go camping also i've spoken to my brother yesterday jonathan and um we are planning he said i can come up to scotland last weekend of august and his fiance said it's fine for me to stay at hers because it's her house not his at her house on the tenant agreement so she said i can stay so as i get paid on thursday i'm going to book my ticket to go out to scotland and as i'm going to the air show in eastbourne to see the red arrows i cannot wait to see the red arrows i'll be in my element don't judge me because i'm allowed to like what i want so yeah let's get ready and head off soon i'm gonna head off about six o'clock so um, sunset is at half eight, so it's giving me enough time to set up and chill and that and go for a quick swim before the sun goes down. So, and yes, I do have my drone in my bag as well. I'll bring some drone shots for you guys. And it should be a good, good night tonight. Um, last time I went camping, sunrise was at 10 to 5. Now sunrise is at 10 to 6 in the morning, so we get an extra hour in the tent. Extra hour of darkness, so it's good. So yeah, it's going to be a long night, but I'm looking forward to it. And I'm hoping I will get a decent night's sleep. I don't normally do because I'm normally nervous and get paranoid, but I should be all right. All right, guys, remember, click that thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and so click that notification bell, and you've been there for the time, update the YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, catch you in a bit when I'm at my destination. Bye for now. Here I go, guys. But I head off at court past five in the evening. Just about to put my rucksack on now. This is how you do it. Okay, and it looks so much stuff. Not there. Yeah, it's heavy now, but when it will get lighter through the evening. I'm a man not checking. On the bus now, guys. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Pagham Harbour. Just made it here. It took me 10 minutes on the bus from Bognor Regis. And uh, look, like I'm in for a treat tonight for camping. I can't believe the sun is going to set over there. It's perfect. It's hot over here than what it is in Bognor. Doesn't make sense. It's 26 degrees over here. No, it's 27, not 26. And it uh, looked like a tide is on its way out. So it's good. Yeah, tide is on its way out. Should be a good sunrise over that way in the morning. 
So yeah, where I'm going to be is over there, but I need to wait for people to leave before I pitch up. Because that's the rule, the rule of camping. While camping, you pitch up late and you pitch down early. But the vibe I'm getting of this area so far seemed peaceful. Seemed peaceful compared to the other place I went camping a couple of months ago. Seemed peaceful here. Got my tripod so I can do some filming for you guys. I'm setting up my tent and also I'll go for a swim as well but I need to be careful because the tide on it way out and the current is pretty strong there but look at that it's going to be a cracking sunset look it's so flat here so it's going to be perfect that way the sun is going to be setting tonight over there behind no trees that way it's now and it's going to go down there so yeah should be good Good evening everyone, welcome to Pagham Harbour here in West Sussex, UK in England. On Sunday the 11th of August 2024, at currently quarter past six in the evening, sitting at 27 degrees air temperature. Just got the bus all the way from Bognor Riza, I thought it was all the way over there like you can see. It took me 10 minutes on the bus, cost me £2 on the stay coach bus. I just walked around this little uh, U-shape around the harbour here and um, I found a possible good spot for camping tonight um here or up there then i get to see the sunrise for so the sun should be rising up that way at sunrise should be rising at 10 to 6 in the morning so i'm thinking if everything go right and smoothly I'm thinking, I don't know, but I'm thinking pitching the tent up here, perfect, it's nice and flat here, so I'm thinking pitching up the tent, I've got a 360 degrees view of the area, the sun should be coming up over there, because the sun is setting there in the in the west, and the sun come up in the east, so it should be good, and it'll be perfect for stargazing tonight, so this is where I'm planning on camping, who knows, this spot up here, a bit grassy up here and that so should be good um i'm not sure at the moment the wind is coming from the southeast it's 10 gusting 26 at the moment but it's gonna be a cracking sunset got an hour and 20 minutes to kill i'm just I'm gonna wait for people to start leaving and then i'm gonna start pitching up but there's some teenagers over that way, some adults just walking their dogs here now, just coming along. So I wait for them people to start heading off. Then I would do a quick walk run, make sure the coast is all clear. And then I would pitch my tent up just before the sun sets so I can get some photos with me with the sun going down. I can do a time lapse on me setting my tent up up there with the sun setting behind me. And then I can get my drone out and relax for the evening and start having a few beers. I've got six can of beers in my what's that right now? Two litres of water, so the bag's quite heavy at the moment on the shoulders, but should be good. But so good to be back out in my element again. This is my therapy, you know. Whenever I'm feeling down or stressed or everything's just getting too much for me at my place where I live, if it gets too stressful there, this way I come out. This is my therapy. New hobby I took up. I just love wild camping. Yes, it is illegal, but it's only illegal if just say i pitch my tent up now and someone come along or a police come along and say please can you move on please if i say to them no f off to them if i say that to them then that when it will become illegal that when it become a civil event but if they come and ask me to move on and i get out and say yes i will move on i pack the tent down and i'll leave then it isn't illegal so but the bonus about being up in scotland I would have got here at four o'clock. If I was up in Scotland, I would have picked up at four o'clock in the afternoon. But because this is England, in the south coast of England, stupid law day for the UK, but it is what it is. Got the mint over there, so that should be setting about nine o'clock, nine, ten o'clock tonight. It means to go down and then it should be good for the meteor showers tonight. I'll try to get some decent photos with my tent with the stars, so it's perfect, just absolutely perfect. Can't go over this location. This is better than another spot where I camped last time. Last time I camped in Climping, 
But here I've got 360 degree view. You can see the sun setting there. You see the sun come up. The tide come up here. So I see where the tide come up. This is a nice little beach where I can sit. And then in the morning, I wake up, I can just jump in the sea here and boom. Just have to be careful of the current, but should be alright because the current is on the other side of the river. This is a bit of a little calm patch here, so should be all good. Right, I'm going to turn you around and show you what the view is like on this side. Because it's actually stunning. It is. Alright guys, this is what it's like. So that where the sun is going to be setting at half eight. Just look at that for a view. You can't beat it, can you? Cannot beat it. I'm going to put my, cam my bag on my tripod so it doesn't fall. So it goes like the shape. There is a bit of wind, so I need to make it a bit even. Just look at that, absolute stunning is. Look at it. I just love that glittering on the water. So peaceful. I really the sun gonna set tonight over there. some people on the bike so I'm just going to wait until people start to leave and then I will pick up. If not the last boss is at 10 11 o'clock if the worst case has happened but it's just me being paranoid as usual. So that's me. I'm always a paranoia. I always got a paranoid mind. It's only your imagination that is playing tricks but what a view. What a view for that sun. It's going to be perfect sitting here and the food drink to what's in the sunset. What a view. Right guys, catch in, in in a bit. Bye for now. Look at this view that I got for the evening. This view to wake up to in the morning. At five o'clock in the morning I'm gonna be waking up and the sun will be coming up over here at ten to six in the morning. It's gonna be a stunning night. I just cannot wait and looking forward to it. Just waiting for people to leave before I start pitching up. Right, catch you in a bit. Oh, what a lovely evening it is. Just about to open my beer. Don't have no nails. <laughs> Don't judge me. That's how you open the beer. That one drinking Carlsberg. So cheers everyone. Oh, good evening, wild camp. <sighs> this is what I needed. This is what I needed. Ah, <sighs> such a lovely view. It's going to be a crowning sunset tonight. Be absolute stunning. I'm a bit nervous about tonight, but I just hope nothing will happen. Shouldn't be. Should all be good. Hopefully, should all be okay. If everything go planned, should be good. Just need to wait for people to leave and then start setting up. You know, start setting up my tent. I've got just down there, so ah. But you didn't expect this, guys, did you? But there's a way to spend your days off from work. So, it's good. It's good. And I'm not back in work now until Friday, so I'm just enjoying my days off and enjoying this heat wave. What a way to live. And you only live 10 minutes away from the beach. Ah. Still a lot of people out. I'll probably start pitching up my tent soon. What the worst case is going to happen? The worst case, what will happen? They just ask me to move on. It's not a big deal. I'd rather get my tent up, set up now, just in time for the sunset, and then get some drone shots. That sun is really bright. Some kids walking down by the waters, going crabbing. 
just lovely so peaceful it really is and then let you enjoy the sea now look at that four of you guys half seven in the evening got an hour until sunset and i'm just chilling here drinking my beer with the view light here i'm going to be quiet now and let you listen to the sound of the ocean and the atmosphere it's just so peaceful here not a breath a little bit of wind but not too much Right, I'm going to be quiet let you listen to the peace and quiet because it's just so peaceful. It is life, it is it's what we live for, night cycle. Won't have many more nights like this guys. Hey yeah, for now. Now only three weeks left of August, then we've got a whole of September. And then October is not really kind of month for me to go camp and September is alright, but October I'm not sure I might go and do it in October just to say that I've done it, but I don't think so. From November till March, you won't see me camping, you know? Not when it's like minus 5 at night or minus 3 at night outside and daytime temps only like 5 degrees. Nah, I said that. Unless you guys want me to do it, I'll do it for you guys, but... Not the same. If you want me to do it, please see down below in the comments. On this YouTube vlog, if you want me to do it, and I will do it. Right. I just love it. I just love it. Just this reflection of that sun glittering on the sea, just perfect. It really is. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So quiet over here. from my bag before falling over. That's right. It's a bit heavy because I've got snacks and sweets in there for now. Later on. Put my up down for now. Got my drone in the bag as well. But look at that, so peaceful. Hope you're enjoying this guys. This weren't planned for today. I just thought, you know what? Heat wave, not heat wave, but it's warm spell we got. Could be a last warm, hot spell of summer. So I thought, why not go out? So here I am. And a decent night's sleep last night. You know, I was in bed about eleven o'clock last night and I woke up about 10 o'clock this morning so i had a good decent 12 hours sleep so it's good so you've got the teenagers there in the boat they were just over there to the left swimming in that with some girl jumping in the sea 
They recognised me, they did. And I walked past. But look like they're leaving now, so hopefully this will be all good. I'm trying to not make it obvious what I'm doing. It's the worst case scenario. Because it's only going to be low 20 degrees tonight. If a worst case scenario, something I haven't done before. You never know, I might do this. I just sleep with my sleeping bag on the beach without pitching my tent up. If I don't want to be seeing it, it's going to be warm. So, could do that. You never know. Who knows? Could do that. That is an idea. I never thought of that. But if you really, really want to be um, stealth and not to be seen, that what you do. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? How about this? Sitting here having a few beers while watching the sun go down. Sitting at an hour until sunset. Sunset is at half eight, guys. And sunrise tomorrow morning is ten to six in the morning. And they had a view from Pagham Harbour. Right, guys, here I go. I'm about to set up my tent now. So here I go. I'm going to do a time lapse. Could it be too long for video? So I'm going to do a time lapse. And the sun is about to set down. It's a bit windy though, but it should be all right tonight. Alright guys, look at this sunset right now that we got, just pitching up my tent, going really good, look at that for the absolute stunning, it is, absolutely is, the downside is, the ground is a bit too hard here but I don't care, I'm not letting that affect me, fucking hell, Move it in a minute, probably. It's blown like that, but it should be alright. That's it. Your wallet. Can't go in, you bastard. Hit like a man, screw it. Come on, you idiot. That's in. That's in. Oh, that's in now. That's so, all right, that's in. Not. Okay, now I'll just jump. Wow. Not the great center, look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. The ground is a bit too hard, but that sunset is so nervous, man. Absolutely so nervous. For me, a cracking night tonight. Oh wow. So nice to see a sunset at last. Don't get to see this from my back garden, but what a view. Wow, the photos are coming out absolutely stunning. Look at this. Look at how they're coming out. Look at that. I'll update them later, but wow. Absolutely 
so it's done and it's going to be nice for sunrise in the morning too. Oh wow. Absolutely it's done and hope you're enjoying this guys. Yeah, the tent is alright. I can't put the pegs right down to the bottom but it won't blow away. Hopefully not. Now that's stuck. Put that down and do that. Oh, you fucking. Sorry, you guys. Ah, can't see. What's going on here? Sorry. Now you see it is windy, don't get me wrong, it is windy. The wind is south easterly coming from that direction. I'm a bit nervous about tonight but sod it, I don't care. I needed a break, I needed to get out. Whew, try not to fall down the bank. Be fun, not. Hopefully no one will come up here at night. Shouldn't do but hey ho. Out. That nut's sticking in. Oh yeah, it's it's very soft. Wow. Well, need another one. Didn't have time to put soda anywhere else, you know. But I don't care. I don't care. As long as I get a decent, good camp out, at what matters. Fucking hell, go in there! Out, prickles! That's gonna come out. Yes, fucking hell, man! Excuse my language. Ah! It's gonna flat about and blow off in the night. Win, stop! Come on! Why are they so soft? Wow! I don't have time to move. So be alright like that. The wind meant to drop anyway, so sorry about my language. Whew. But I'll play to myself. I'll show you the setup. <sighs> this is my new four season tent. So this is what the peg in this well, this is what I act like. Air is going underneath it. And not not good. See? Look at that, that's annoying. Don't go in. Oh fuck's sake! Why are they so soft? Can't be there, can't be, can move over there. I don't know. It's really pissing me off, but I hope the sun will be coming up. Right, guys, that me all set up in my tent, my four season tent. This is my new tent. The wind speed is average of 10, gusting 28. But doesn't feel it, but it is. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Got my setup, got snaps. Got a few beers here, and this is the view that I'll be waking up to in the morning. How about that? Waking up to that in the morning. So that's sick with the sun rising up over there. So, yeah, cheers, everyone. Let, let the night begin. Ah, this is life. This is life. This is what camping is all about. Only got one guideline out here. Don't need a rest on because the wind is coming from that direction. But yeah, it's lovely. I see Bogna over there. That way the sun should be rising up about 10 to 6 in the morning. I'm hoping I will get a good night's sleep tonight. Got the moon there.
So yeah, it should be all good. It's nice and peaceful. Got my tripod there so I can take some nighttime photos of the stars later on. I'm gonna go to bed about 11 o'clock. And hopefully, it should be a peaceful night. Hopefully I won't get disturbed. Should be all right. It's very windy tonight. I'm trying to get to sleep, but it's got some 30 mile per hour winds. This is my setup. o'clock at night. Just gone past 11 o'clock at night and it's sitting at 20 degrees air temperature outside. Wind speed is average 14 gusting 28. As you can see it's a bit windy. But I just saw a meteor shower. I just saw a meteor just flew across the sky and I saw a couple of um, shooting star and I also saw a satellite. So yeah, it's going good but it's pretty windy. But nothing compared to what I had camping before. I had camping to 40 mile per hour winds before and I'll write so there is nothing compared to what I have put up with. And the poles are looking okay. Right, I'm gonna turn the light off because I don't want to get seen. So we catch all lighters. Good morning everyone. What a stunning sunrise it is to wake up to this morning. Look at that. Rising up behind Bogner. Absolute stunning. Good morning everyone, when I had two three hours sleep last night, but I don't care, it's definitely worth it for this, look at this, to wake up to this in the morning, absolute stunning, this is what I wanted, absolute stunning, sun rising up behind Bognor Regis, see Butlins there, look at that, absolute stunning, definitely was worth a uh, three hours sleep for this. It'll be high 30 degrees today guys. Of course today date is Monday the 12th of August 2024. It's currently 10 to 6 in the morning and it's sitting at 20 degrees air temperature. But look at that sunrise, absolutely stunning. Ah, the fun part of camping is trying to pitch down my tent. That's the fun part. Ah, what a nice sleep I had. Two hours sleep with that. Got a dog walk over there. Ooh, look at this for a view. Absolute stunning. What a way to wake up. Look at that sunrise. Cannot beat it. My bus is due at 22 minutes past 6, so I need to get all the way over there past those houses I need to go. But look at that, absolute stunning. Wow. And yeah, I was all right last night, um, set for about 3 in the morning, the bloody tent decided to nearly take off, didn't it? The wind picked up. But look at that to wake up to. You cannot beat that, can you? Good morning, everyone. From me, Stuart Allen, the photographer and the drone pilot. 25 years old, single, got ADHD, learning difficulties, and also dyslexic. From Bognor Regis. I came out to Pagan Harbour last night for a wild camp. And what a way to wake up to this. I said, good night's sleep to wake up to this. It's going to be a hottest day of the year today. High 34 degrees it's going to be in London. Down here in Bognor Regis and Pagham, high 33 degrees or 31 degrees by the late afternoon, by 4 o'clock. But what a good um, sleep in my full season winter tent. It's 
absolute stunning to wake up to this. It now, even though it's windy, was a problem, but it was good. Well, well done, a long day for me now, but I slept okay. That's the most important thing. Right guys, that me all packed away and ready to head back now to go back home. It's getting warm already. Just all packed away. Look, see, you leave no trace. That way I would camp and look, see, you leave no trace. So that me all packed and ready. It's the time to head back now. Back home now, guys, in Bogner. Only took 10 minutes from Pagham to get back here. At Bogner Pier, that where the sun is. Might be back down here later on this afternoon once I've got my energy back. I'm going to go back and have a hot shower, second three, and have a little siesta. Then I might come down here this afternoon at 4 o'clock when it's going to be 30 degree day temperature. You wouldn't believe it now for a lovely cool breeze, but going to be 30 degrees by the afternoon so yeah I might go for a swim all right guys catch you in a bit welcome to Bognor Regis everyone in West Sussex UK and England on the hottest day of the year it's going to be today high 34 degrees it's going to be a nice sea breeze as well it's refreshing someone is already out swimming in the sea already but yeah back home now in Bognor after a good wild camp out in Pagham Harbour last night, it was good. With a good sunrise this morning as well. But yeah, it's going to be a hottest day of the year today, so far. And only four weeks left of the summer. Left. Having my morning coffee now. Make myself up to get ready for the day. <laughs> 